Hello everyone, welcome to my video. Today I'm making a video about how to use permethrin properly for scabies. If you're watching this video, I'm guessing you probably have scabies or someone in your household has scabies and permethrin is most likely going to be the treatment that is prescribed to you by your doctor or your dermatologist. The thing about permethrin is most doctors and dermatologists don't actually give you very good instructions on how to use permethrin. Um, they might just say, yeah, here's a cream, put it on for eight hours and wash it off in the morning. And that leads to people using it incorrectly because there are actually very specific things you should do when using permethrin and if you don't use it properly, it's not going to work. You're just going to have many scabies escape the treatment and they're not going to die, the eggs are not going to die and you're just going to continue having um, more and more mites hatching under your skin without you being able to treat them properly. So in this video I'm going to teach you how to use permethrin properly. Um, I went through scabies myself and it wasn't until I did quite a lot of research on why my treatment wasn't working uh, until I figured out why I'd been using permethrin and some other treatments incorrectly and what I should have been doing and as soon as I started using it correctly I did two treatments and my scabies was pretty much gone within a few weeks. What is permethrin? Permethrin is in most countries the standard prescription treatment for scabies. It's a it's the active ingredient in things like bug spray and insect spray so anytime you buy a bug spray from the supermarket or the you know home improvement store or wherever you buy it from and it is used for killing roaches and ants and things like that if you look at the ingredients it's going to say permethrin that's the main thing that kills bugs and mites and so what permethrin cream is is it's a cream with a small amount of permethrin in it and you rub it all over your skin like a moisturizer and it's going to act like kind of you've got bug spray all over your skin it's going to kill all the scabies mites you don't leave it on for too long because obviously um, permethrin is an insecticide which means it's a poison so you don't want it on your body for a long time but just long enough to kill the scabies mites that are living under your skin and on your skin and it will work okay it will work if you use it properly permethrin is very effective I'm sure you've seen when you spray a bug with bug spray it dies pretty much instantly okay so if, if scabies get exposed to permethrin they also die pretty much instantly one thing that's really important and that most people miss and it's also a reason why you get scabies coming back over and over again and you can't seem to get rid of them is everybody in your household has to do this treatment. So if you have 10 people living in your household, all 10 people need to do this treatment. The reason is scabies is very contagious. So even if you're just shaking hands with someone or you're sitting next to someone on the couch, it's very possible that you can spread scabies to that person and obviously if only one person treats and there are other people that it has spread to and those people don't treat scabies is just going to keep spreading throughout your household now symptoms can take two to three weeks to show so for example if you're sitting uh, next to your brother or sister or mum and dad on the couch for an hour or two today and only one of you has scabies and say it spreads to your sister or brother today, they might not show symptoms for another two or three weeks. So they might think, oh no, I'm not itching, I don't need to treat it, I don't need to do this permethrin thing, I've got no spots on my on my skin. But there are mites that are in their skin that are gonna take two or three weeks to start biting and hatching and burrowing, right? And so once you do your treatment and you heal yourself of scabies, then it's likely that your brother or sister or mother or son or daughter might start to show the symptoms two or three weeks later and they're going to spread it back to you right so this is why some households find it very difficult to get scabies out until they all do the treatment at the same time so if you're about to do permethrin treatment make sure you get everyone else in your household to do it as well now the first thing about permethrin is you have to use it absolutely everywhere except for your face and your scalp okay so that means um, all over your entire body basically now some places that people often miss are the armpits okay make sure you get it right all the way into your armpits um, around the elbows and knees there's a lot there is a lot of folded skin in your elbows and knees um, so make sure you rub it deeply into your elbows and knees uh, yes you also need to get it between your bum cheeks okay there are scabies that can live there believe it or not 
Um, one place that most people don't realize scabies live and it's the most common place or one of the most common places for scabies to live and lay eggs is between your fingers and toes. If you go to a dermatologist that is experienced with scabies, they will often use their you know, special glasses or microscope or whatever it is. And the first place they'll look is between your fingers and toes because those are the places that are most commonly, scabies are most commonly found. Um, so make sure that you rub it really, really well between your fingers and toes. Um, behind the ears is another one. You can't really put it on your face, but you can put it on your ears. Um, so it's a good, good, good idea to get a good, a good amount of permethrin behind your ears and, and, and even in the skin in your ears. And also you do need to get it in your groin, okay? In your groin area where your private parts are, yes, scabies can live there as well, okay? And, and some of you might be unfortunate enough to see the bites there, the burrows there, or, or some itching there, okay? So make sure you get permethrin in that area as well. Probably the most important place to get permethrin is underneath your fingernails. Obviously, if you have scabies right now, you'll know that it is very itchy and you are probably scratching a lot. So what do you think that means? That means you are scratching in the place where scabies are and it's very likely that you have eggs and mites underneath your fingernails. So make sure that you get permethrin underneath every nail and that includes fingernails and toenails. Some of you might be thinking, why do I need to do my toenails? I don't scratch with my toenails. Well, the likelihood is you probably do scratch with your toenails while you're sleeping. You know, if your legs are itchy, your feet are itchy, yes, it's, it's, it's probably quite likely that you do actually scratch with your toenails. So you want to get permethrin under your fingernails and underneath your toenails. Now, the best way to do this, in my opinion, is to squeeze a little bit of permethrin cream into the palm of your hand and then just scratch the palm of your hand over and over again. And that's really gonna get the permethrin deep into your fingernails. And kind of do the same thing with your toenails. Um, uh, put some permethrin in your palm and then try to just scratch your palm with your toenails and you're gonna get permethrin deep underneath your toenails. And that makes sure that any mites or eggs that are under your nails are gonna die. The second thing that makes this really important is if mites and eggs are underneath your fingernails, and you scratch, you're spreading scabies around your body. And so it's very important that you kill those scabies mites very quickly and effectively. Otherwise you are just making things a lot harder for yourself. Permethrin needs to be left on for eight hours to be effective, um, but also don't leave it on for much longer than that. Remember, it's a poison. It's insecticide, we use it to kill bugs, and so it is poisonous to humans as well. It's just that um, it's, it, it needs to be used at a much higher dosage to be toxic and fatal for humans. Um, but doesn't mean that it's good for you, okay? So try and not leave it on for too much longer than eight hours. The best thing you can do, or the easiest way to do it, is um, apply the permethrin before you go to sleep at night. Then put on some cotton pajamas to cover yourself up and then wash it all off in the morning. Okay, so that should hopefully give you an eight hour window of permethrin treatment. If you don't sleep for more than eight hours, then obviously just wait until you've actually had it on for eight hours before you shower. Uh, but again, don't leave it on for too long. Don't leave it on for like 12 hours or a whole day or anything like that. That's not gonna make it any more effective, but it's just gonna damage your skin and maybe give you a bad reaction. This is the number one reason why permethrin probably doesn't work for most people. Remember, your nails and your fingers are where most scabies live. So once you put the treatment on, don't wash your hands. Sometimes you might you know, put it on and then you might need to go to the toilet before you go to sleep and then you might wash your hands. All you're doing is you're washing off the treatment. Okay, so if you do wash your hands, make sure you reapply the treatment to your nails and fingernails and between your hand, uh, be between your fingers and your palms. Okay, remember scabies mites live in your hands between your fingers. Don't wash your hands for eight hours. If you do, you're washing off the treatment, and the treatment is not going to work. Once you've done the first treatment, you should kill most of the scabies mites. However, uh, they have shown that permethrin isn't as effective against eggs because eggs, the mite has kind of like a protective shell. So if you do a second treatment after seven days, that should take care of the, the eggs that weren't hatched when you did your first treatment. 
okay? So if you do the treatment on a Sunday, then the next Sunday you should do a second treatment. You do a treatment in exactly the same way, so apply the permethrin all over your body, uh, between your fingers, your blah, blah, and your armpits, all the same places that we talked about. Leave it on for eight hours and wash it off in the morning. Two treatments is usually enough. Some people, they get kind of paranoid um, or they just want to be very thorough and they do a third application, which is fine as well. Um, the thing is, permethrin is not that easy to get and it can be quite expensive in some places. So people don't really want to do three treatments, especially if you have like seven people living in your household. That means you have to buy, you know, seven times three would be 21 bottles of permethrin. So it can get quite expensive. So two treatments is usually enough. If you're able, it's good to do a third application after another seven days. But it is essential that you do at least two treatments. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Uh, permethrin is the, the first line treatment for most doctors and dermatologists. However, there are other treatments you can use. Um, there are many natural treatments that have been shown to be effective against scabies in, in lots of studies now. Um, these are things like tea tree oil, clove oil, neem oil, neem powder, sulfur, um, even bleach can, can be useful in some ways. Um, so if you look at my other video, which I'll, I'll link down below, you can see um, some of the natural treatments that I also use that I think were very effective. Um, and ivermectin is also an antiparasitic drug that is approved by the FDA for use in scabies. Um, it's a oral treatment, so it's a pill that you take, and you take it at the same time as your permethrin, okay? So you put your permethrin on, take your ivermectin pills, and then seven days later, you take another ivermectin treatment. Um, ivermectin is a very safe drug. Uh, it's been used for many years for, for many kinds of parasitic infections. And it's been used in America for scabies uh, and many other countries such as Australia, New Zealand, even in Europe for a very long time. Um, so the, the good thing with ivermectin is you use it as an internal treatment. And then permethrin is the external treatment. And so together, it's a very good tag team and it really just nails all the scabies mites that are living under your skin. Um, so if you want to use, if you want to get the best possible treatment and the, the highest likelihood of clearing your scabies in, infection, um, it's good to use all three at once, permethrin, natural treatments, and ivermectin. I've got some other videos and blog posts that teach you how to use these things, so make sure you check those out. Other than that, good luck. Um, if you do the treatment properly, it should work. I know scabies is, is really stressful and it really upsets your life and, and, and can really affect your mental health. So I hope that uh, this video is helpful and that you are able to get the treatment that you need and this video helps you to use it properly. Um, you can also visit my blog at scabieshomeremedies.com, which is a little website that I started after I dealt with scabies myself for a couple months. Um, and that has all the information that I could possibly share on what I did to help kill my scabies as, as quickly and painlessly as possible. So make sure you check that out too. Otherwise, good luck and thanks for watching.